mustache march has ended. Are you happy about it? I sure am. The mustache competition coming up. What's up everyone? I bet you're wondering why I have been growing this mustache. Well, today we're gonna to be doing a competition. What fish has the best mustache? And I know they don't have mustaches, but it's gonna be the best barbelled fish, I guess. And yes, I am in the competition as well against these fish, so feel free to judge me. All right, well, I didn't do a ton of research before this video, so I'm just going off the top of my head of my favorite barbelled fishes. So, coming in at number one is gonna be the clown loach. The clown loach barely has a mustache, but it's still good enough. The clown loach is a schooling fish. It's a, it gets pretty big, it's a bottom dweller, and it brings tons of color to your aquarium. And you can also add it to an African cichlid aquarium, which a lot of people do, and it's a great addition for that. Is this thing... I'm shaving this tomorrow, that's why I'm making this video, just so you guys know. I cannot wait to shave it. It's so irritating, I'm starting to get pimples in here. Ugh, I just, I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. Anyways, probably my favorite fish with a mustache, and that's gonna be the koi. The koi, one people don't realize, but one way you tell the difference between a koi and a goldfish is the koi have the little barbells or mustaches in this competition. And that is, that's not the only way to tell the difference. They also get way, way bigger, but you know, if you're not sure when you're at the little pet store and they're all really small, look for the little barbells. And that's how you tell. Anyways, they have your average barbells, but I'm gonna say they're on this list because of how awesome koi fish are. Koi are probably my favorite fish, or top 10, because who can really decide? And um, someday I'm gonna have a big koi pond, but not any day soon, because it takes a lot of space, you know, so. Now, there's three different kinds of, like, main categories of koi, and that's the kohaku, the sanke, and the showa. And they're basically the three basic judging patterns that you'll see at like a koi show. My personal favorite is the kohaku. It's just that beautiful white and red fish. The showa has a lot more black than the sanke. They're both, they're both a red and white fish and then they have a pattern of black uh, across them or you know speckles of black. The showa has a lot more black than the sanke. So just so you guys know. Uh, it gets a lot more complicated than that, but those are the three main categories of koi, and they're all awesome, just like my mustache. All right, the next fish on this list is the red-tailed catfish. Now, the red-tailed catfish has more of a beard if you're using your imagination. So I'm gonna disqualify them off this competition or in the running for the best mustache. And they're not even an aquarium fish, so why should they get to, you know, be in this? They're more of a really big aquarium fish, like if you're Joey off the King of DIY, but uh, not a lot of us have that setup. So I'm gonna say he's not an aquarium fish or it's not an aquarium fish. I do wanna have one someday, so hopefully I have the room, but disqualified. The next fish on this list is a rip Colonel Sanders of a fish. And when I'm talking about Colonel Sanders, I mean by the uh, little soul patch he has. And uh, we're gonna say the arowana. The arowana makes this list because of Colonel Sanders, purely. I know they don't really have the barbell mustache or a mustache at all, but the little barbells make them on this list because they're such an awesome fish. But is it gonna be enough for them to win? I don't know. Now the next fish on this list is the tinfoil barb. Let me get closer so my mustache is in the video. Now the next fish in this video is gonna be the tinfoil barb. Alright, I'm just kidding. I'll 
back up. Don't click off the video. Anyways, the tinfoil bar. They're a schooling fish, they're big. You can put them with those big cichlids like uh, South American, Central American cichlids and it'll kind of help divvy out the aggression in the whole tank. I actually wonder why they're not more popular. They're, they, they look like little mini sharks if you ask me. And they got the red fins and the silver body, which is cool. All right, the next, the next fish, which is an awesome fish, and it is a catfish. I tried not to put all catfish in this video, so because you know the the long whiskers, they could easily be called all mustache uh, fishes. But um, the next fish is gonna be the Pictus catfish. I know you're glad the Pictus catfish made this video, because can you really compare fish? to mustaches if you're not including the Pictus catfish. Now, I was going to, you know, say they have the big Gandalf beard, kind of like the, uh, the red-tailed catfish, and disqualify them from this competition because it is a mustache competition. But I wanted them to be in the video anyway because they're one of my favorite catfish. Now, the Pictus catfish has a real nice Fu Manchu uh, type of mustache, which is pretty awesome, and that was actually a good reference. Anyways, I'm not gonna laugh at my own jokes, okay? I'm not that kind of person. Okay, I'm not that person. But, just, just let me have it. Alright, so what fish are we gonna say wins in this video? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And, are you ready to hear my opinion on who the winner is? Drum roll, please. And the winner is... Me! I'm the winner of the competition. Yeah, that's right. I made the video. I get to choose who wins. Now, I actually really grew this mustache out for a work competition, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose because I don't have the worst mustache and I don't have the best. So I decided to make a video and give the award to me. I know, it's really petty, but look, it was an easy video to make and it was fun. So I'm just gonna give you guys some good views of my mustache. You see that? It's awesome. All right, let's see. We had 10 minutes yet? Let me show you some more while we get to 10 minutes. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and watching my videos. And welcome to Aquariums with Ty if it's your first time here. I don't typically make videos that are as dumb and silly as this, but I wanted to change things up a little bit because, you know, I, I make a lot of informational videos and products reviews, and it can get a little boring sometimes, I know. but. I'm going to try to mix it up and have more fun on this channel. So I'll see you guys on the next one.